Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our rework station. It's called Yao Gong. It's the 8878D 2-in-1 rework station. Now, this provides you with everything you see here, including the power cable. And uh, what it is, is it's obviously a soldering iron and a rework station, a hot air gun. Now, this thing, I've been using it now for two days just to see how everything runs on this thing. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised how awesome this thing is. And let me explain why. It has a lot of crazy features that my older rework station didn't even have. And for this to be at $65, it's insane. So first of all, the form factor is really big. Now this is if you're tight on space and you don't have much area and you just cannot have a big soldering station next to you. Uh, this will just do exactly that. It'll take the, mo the most minimum amount of space possible, yet giving you the full capabilities of a complete rework station, which is absolutely phenomenal. So let's get started. How would we use this and what are some of the features it has? Well, one thing is this stand for the rework station, as you can tell right here. It ha I believe it has some kind of magnetic chip or something because once you place it in, it'll go full throttle, turn off all the heat and cool itself down within 30 seconds, which is pretty insane. That I really liked. That I did not have on my previous rework station. Another thing what I've noticed is I forgot this guy on and it'll actually go into standby mode. Believe it or not, if you don't use this, it will go into standby mode and drop the temperature somewhat. And then once you pick it up, it immediately pops up back to the temperature, which I thought was absolutely phenomenal as well. So what does this thing come with? Well, you get the obviously you get the the stands for both of them. You do get a little one. You just get one sponge. You get one soldering tip on it and it's a very thin tiny one and this is the complete universal sized one so it's not proprietary so you can replace these anytime you want which is really nice. Um, also you get the standard sized rework station. They do provide you with two other heads other than this one here. As you can tell here they provide you with these two. Currently the only thing that I really don't like, it's not really a deal breaker, is I wish this had more weight to it because it has tendency to not be very stable but it does have some sort of mounting holes for you. If you wanted to keep it in somewhere stationary you can go ahead and mount it with those mounting holes on the bottom here which is really nice. I didn't have to do anything but plug these two and I received it and the power and I was good to go. Now let's take a look at the controls here. Um, so it's currently this is in Celsius because I ordered the EU version. I don't know if the US version will be in Fahrenheit, but currently this is reading Celsius for me. And I think I saw you can switch this to Fahrenheit. Uh, we'll see that in a bit. So right now, let's just say I wanted to grab my soldering iron and uh, start soldering. So all you got to do is just press the on for solder. And there we go. It just started to heat up really quick. And it, this heats up absolutely phenomenally quick. I mean, less than 20 seconds and you're good to go here. So if I wanted to change the temperature, let's just let it heat up. Now it's supposed to be around, I think I, I set it to 400 something, 450 or 420, something of that nature. So it's heating up, it's heating up. All right, so that's perfect, 448. So now it's at full temperature, 448 Celsius. Let's just say I wanted to drop down to 400. So what you do is you click this star and then you can just start dropping this down. Now some people like the knob style, so do I sometimes, but you know, this is, I really love the form factor of this currently. And you just set it up like so. And I believe this is in Fahrenheit. So if you wanted to set that in Fahrenheit. So yeah, you can set that one in Fahrenheit. But we're going to keep it in Celsius. So we're good to go. And we should see the temperature drop. I don't know if it already dropped that quick or not. So let's just take a look here. So a couple things that I've noticed with working with this is that it does not allow the temperature to drop. So it does sense that the temperature is somewhat dropping and it, I guess it pushes more current in and it keeps that temperature very stable, which is really good, especially for big joints. That's really great that I also noticed on this thing. So how would we turn this off? Well, turning it off is absolutely simple. Just hold this and it'll turn off. There's even sleep mode if you wanted. So now we wanted to go to our rework station, which is really cool. And I really want to show you this feature right now, actually. So let's go ahead and put this in. Now this feature is on most rework stations, but my previous one did not have this. And my previous one was double the cost of this one. So let's go ahead and uh, turn on the rework station here. So it's at 328. It will not boot if as long as it's in the handle. So you don't burn yourself. So it's not booted. Once you pick it up, it'll go ahead and uh, boot up. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that. Hopefully you can. So now it's actually heating up and it's working currently. And uh, if we wanted to change the temperature, all we do is we click the star here. And then we could change temperature to as we like the F05. This is the fan speed and it goes up to 10 and that's a that's a pretty good blast right there. And then I like to keep it at five between five and four. Set that up. And automatic, I think the A is for automatic. I think last time I tested it, it was for automatic. So it means if I place this down now, it'll go full blast the fan and it'll start decreasing the, pr the, 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 the temperature here. 
as you can tell. So as you can tell, there we go, I just dropped it down. My previous one did not go this fast. This is the actual temperature reading. It went down to 100, turned off, you're good to go. Now if you pick this back up, it'll go ahead and heat up exactly to how you had it. And that that is really quick, that is really nice. Um, I found myself reaching for this quite often now. So some of the cool things that I also liked about this is they are using what seems to be premium components. They are using silicone wires, which does not get in the way and it just slides and goes around the table. So you don't have, you know, wire bulk building up. I've had that with previous stations, uh, but this one is absolutely phenomenal in that perspective. I didn't know what to expect, to be honest, and I'm really, really happy that I got this. So a couple other awesome features is the, the wires are silicone, which is mandatory nowadays, but not everything this cheap actually, or the, at this price comes with such thing. And the wires are really flexible so they just go around the table they don't get in the way while you're working which is a really great benefit and it's something that I look for in a soldering station now some things that I don't like is the color here the color seems like it would get dirty after a while so right now it's looking really nice but later on it's probably gonna get a little bit dirty and another thing which I would have also liked a little bit more was the whole thing to be inverted so these would be up top and this would be on the bottom now you might say well why would you want such a thing well let me turn it off real quick I would have liked to mount this on the wall like this, um, but you can't do, well you can do that, but all the writings will be opposite, will be backwards, everything here will be backwards. That would have been really nice and some sort of something to mount it against the wall, which would have been really awesome as well. That, that I would have really loved that option to have or something coming off the side where you can just drill it in the wall and you're good to go. That would have been really cool. But um, I can't really complain for 65 bucks. This is an absolute phenomenal deal here. And it's, it's performing absolutely crazy. All right, so what are my final thoughts or my current thoughts of such a rework station? Well, first of all, it's if you're tight on space and actually on a budget, this so far seems to be a very great solution. And this is going to be my, mainly dri my main driver right now to see how well it's going to perform. And obviously, I'll be doing update videos on the status of this rework station every month or so. I'll drop in another review and seeing how well it's holding up, how dirty it got, if there's any issues, and all these kinds of things. But currently, I'm very impressed. It's working absolutely phenomenal, and uh, I'm really happy with it. I might 3D design some kind of a wall mount for this, so I could even just mount it on the wall, and I even have less space, I mean more space on the table to use. And um, for 65 bucks, the amount of features, the quality that I currently can see and have tested is an absolute amazing deal. That's going to conclude my current review of the Yugong 8878D 2-in-1 rework station. Seems like a good one. If you're on a budget, this looks proper. And uh, if you just want to wait, just wait a month or so. I'll be doing update reviews on this product and uh, keeping you updated on the status of it. And well, that's it, guys. That's concluded for this video. Please check out the links down below. Those greatly support the channel or hit up my Patreon. That really do a lot of help there. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.